Well, joining us now is Professor Roy Chan, the founder and president of the organisation Action for AIDS in Singapore. Professor Chan, thank you very much for making the time for us. What is the significance of this? Thank you for asking. It's, it's a huge significance and uh, in the result of uh, many years of uh, advocacy towards uh, um, removing this law. Uh, I think from the, from the public health point of view, uh, it has always stood in the way of uh, much broader, much wider and accurate dissemination of uh, educational messages for gay men uh, and, and other MSM in Singapore. Um, having a statute that criminalizes gay sex has limited the capacity to access uh, oh men who, uh, who have sex with men um, in, in various ways. Um, so I think that the, the reduction, the removal of the law will hopefully reduce the stigmatization and discrimination of people uh, who are uh, HIV positive as well as who have high risk of getting HIV, which um, in many parts of the world are gay and MSM. Singapore is often seen as a liberal, progressive, forward-thinking Southeast Asian nation. How prevalent is discrimination against the LGBT community in your country? I think that the discrimination of um, um, LGBT people is largely uh, um, structural. I think that amongst, certainly amongst the younger generation, um, there is increasing acceptance. I would, I, the most recent polls have shown that uh, most people are accepting, most, and especially the younger people. So it has changed quite dramatically within the last five to ten years. Um, so I think that uh, it's 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 a huge win for for people for for, for us who have been advocating for this change. Um, it is still it and it, it sort of cements this change cements our reputation as being forward forward looking and progressive. I think you describe this as a huge win. Tell us what was the reaction amongst the activist community when this announcement was made. I think it was, um, I, you know, there, there wasn't like huge parties and that sort of thing. But as far as I could, I could, I could see from from social media um, and um, and uh, WhatsApp. I think that people were celebrating in their own own small way. Uh, um, there have been small gatherings here and there, but nothing on a major scale, like 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 uh, marching in the street and that sort of thing. That's usually not allowed anyway. OK, we'll leave it there. Professor Roy Chan from Action for AIDS in Singapore, thank you for making the time for us. Thank you very much.